You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face. I have Gary Leonard, who's the downtown manager for Brockton. Welcome back, Gary. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate it, and it's always a pleasure to be here on BCA. Same here. You and I have a challenge, nine minutes. Usually we can talk for at least a half an hour, if not more. Well, it looks like I'm going to be doing all the talking then because there I... You <laughs> Tell me what you have to promote that's good news about Brock. Well, I have a lot of things to promote, but a lot of them are all wrapped into one big event. And that is the Downtown Brockton Fest is coming up here and starting on September 24th. And we start off with the Tiger's Den. It's a tribute to Brockton boxer Tiger Moore. And Tiger Moore was the sparring partner of marvelous Marvin Hagler. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be up at the uh, 138 Main Street location of Hoagie's Hobbies or the Downtown Brockton Museum at 6 to 9 p.m. on the 24th. And tickets are $10 each and $12 at the door. So you can get in touch with uh, Mr. Um, uh, Bill Hogan at the uh, website at the Downtown Brockton Museum. Uh, WW Brockton uh, Downtown Museum and uh, order your tickets right online. And then as we progress uh, through the festival, we have Saturday the 26th at Salisbury Park. Uh, that's down on Crescent Street uh, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We're going to have a kite festival, uh, Olympic Games, uh, sporting events that are planned for uh, the downtown festival run. We're going to have a car show uh, with antique cars. Um, he's just got it all going on right on until October 4th. So you got two week weekends, the weekend of the 24th to the 26th, and then you also have the weekend of the 3rd and 4th that all these activities are happening and a few activities during night. So please go on to the website for the downtown uh, Brockton Museum and you can see all these events happening in those two weeks. No. Now that I finished that one, okay. let me go over to the Camp Pello on Main Street. Okay. Okay. Um, coming on um, Columbus Day, October 12th, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to bring back a revised uh, old community uh, event, which was called Brockton Day, and this is going to be called the Brockton Day Festival, and this will also be an annual event. This year, we're starting off a little smaller. We're going to start at the Keith Park. And uh, we're going to shut down Main Street, uh, a few of the streets, right down to uh, probably uh, Market Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, the merchants are going to bring all their, um, whatever they sell or whatever they offer, out to the sidewalks. So we're going to have entertainment in the streets, food and entertainment in the park. We're going to have a mortgage fair. That's where people can come up and get themselves freely qualified for a residential or commercial mortgage. Uh, we will have the Chamber of Commerce there. We will have the agencies, such as the BRA, offering um, all kinds of incentives for home, first-time home buyers. Um, they have programs out there to offer down payments mm -hmm. and uh, also the help with the closing costs. A lot of things that people do not know here as citizens of Brockton. So I welcome you, all you citizens of Brockton. Come down, enjoy these two major events. And again, the one in Camp Pella is going to be October 12th. And that will run from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. in the evening. Gary, nobody can say in Brockton. Did I do that in nine that minutes? You, <laughs> no, you did it in less than that. No one can say in Brockton there isn't anything to do. If you look at all the mayor's summer concerts that happened this summer, there were lunchtime concerts, there were concerts on Sundays in different parks around the city, Even Heights the Crossing, Market, Farmer's Market. Market. Market, and you could go down. I watched people put on Facebook that they were going there for lunch. You didn't have a lot of cancellations due to weather. It's been hot, it's been cold. I don't complain about the weather anymore because after last winter, I don't care how hot it no, is. I'll no. be on the sun if I have to be. And I went to work every day. You did. You did. <laughs> um, in a tie. In a tie. No, no yeah. less. Uh, okay. Maybe four feet of snow, but so, I still had a tie on. So believe it or not, we have five minutes. Looking at downtown, downtown is looking better and better all the time. It is. The, the plaza at City Hall has all been redone. There's going to be a dedication ceremony soon coming up where I believe the lieutenant governor is coming down. Correct. Duval is out of office, so I don't know if he's coming back and we're digging him out of retirement or not. He's but always we have welcome. A new administration. I just happened to have seen the governor yesterday at the Bridgewater State College inauguration for President Mr. Craig Clark. Clark. Nice Brockton, Brockton, Brockton kid. man. Done well. Lives Absolutely. in Easton now, but he loves Brockton. That's all right. Okay. We're going to get him back here to Brockton. Okay. And we're going to get, I know we'll get the, the downtown college thing back on, uh, back on track. You're getting it online. He'll be back. But I'm looking at buildings, and I'm looking at little subtle changes going on. I'm looking at the corner of Main and Center where they're going to redo that park. Yes. The, the, is is the it a Korean? Park. Is it a Korean? It, that's, actually, that's actually being put on by Trinity Financial. Right. That is their pocket park. Yeah. Um, 
that is going to be right next door to where they're going to have the restaurant location. Right. Of course, they're still working in there. We're still looking for a right fit for what kind of restaurant will be in there. But, but they'll be able to go outside dining in that little pocket park. There. Nice. And, nice. And um, I know people were complaining about the rubbish and everything that was accumulating there. But there was so much construction going on at the time. It was very difficult. You spend more time cleaning up after yourself than you do getting work done. So now that the work's pretty much all completed. Uh, you'll be seeing them to unveil the pocket park very soon and it will look delicious. There you go. And we already unveiled some artwork at, during the Downtown Brockton Arts and Music Festival last week in the, is it Enzo Flats? Did I get it correctly? Enzo Flats is correct. Okay, and we and were we also, over there. We haven't shown it yet on TV, but it'll be on TV. You also can um, uh, go and view some of these arts in the um, Rotunda at the um, uh, Brockton Housing Authority. Okay. Uh, not Brockton Housing Authority, I'm sorry, the Bat Station. Okay, Brockton right Area in, Transit. Yeah. Brockton Area Transit, right in the Rotunda. There is all kind of artwork in there, and that was also part of the festival. And also, um, I did orchestrate a little deal uh, with a dear friend of mine, a developer here in Brockton. His name is Stephen Torrey, and I hooked him up with the president of the Brockton Arts, Arnie Danielson. And Steve has donated 2,500 square feet to the Brockton Arts. They now have a home. Mm -hmm. They have a new location. And the building has been renovated. It used to be the Drummer's Lounge. Right, exactly. It was an eyesore right. in Campello. Dover and... Dover and, and Warren. Warren. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Torrey has purchased that building. And he's already sunk over a million and a half build, million dollars inside of the building in renovations. And now he's going to be working on the outside, probably spending just as much, if not more. So Steve's all about building up Brockton. This is now the cornerstone for Camp Pello. Um, we're getting into the arts and, and cultural uh, uh, festi festiv festivities for that area. Um, it's a very diversified area. Therefore, we have a lot of art coming in from Haiti, from Cape Verde, from Spain. It's coming in from all over. We're filling up fast, and it's looking great. I, I can't tell at all that you're having fun with your job. I'm just having the best time of my life. You know that. I love to see things come together. Partnerships, collaboration, people shaking hands. Uh, I, I'm talking about people who barely speak English uh, and people who have lived here all their lives, shaking hands, hugging each other, getting something accomplished together. It's such a good feeling, and I feel great about the whole thing. Food, music, art, everything all together. Love it. If people want to know more, you're the guy that cuts through all the red tape. We've got a minute. 30 seconds of it is yours. Look, tell the viewers what they, if they need to get in touch with you. If you need to cut through that red tape, I am located in the Brockton 21st Century Corp uh, office, and that's at 550 School Street, where the Chamber of Commerce building is, up in the second floor. My phone number is, and this is my cell number, 508 802 2315. Again, it's 508 802 2315 on my office at 508 586 0021, extension 115. But you never find me there. I'm a field person. I'm out on the road. There You'll you catch me. Use my cell phone. Thanks, Gary. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you, Mark. Always a pleasure. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate it so much. I look forward to our next visit, but it has to be at least a half hour. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> at this point, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.